Yeah. So it's Sunday, and this is the first JC flea market since December, right? Um, Bergenfield High School, are you excited? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Bergenfield's a weird one. The, Bergenfield used to be really good. Well, it's hard to tell now. They used, back in the day, like we're talking ooh. like 10 or more years ago. Yep. Like, we used to be in the two rooms and all in the hallway. Hallway. That's how many vendors they had. I made a thousand dollars one time at Bergenfield uh, yeah. many years ago. Many, but I, it was a combination and of jewelry and video games back then. It was a. It was the the thing with Bergenfield is it's in Bergen County and the stores aren't open on Sundays. Yeah, for I've never done as well as since the first time I did it. So, honest. you know, Lula. it was just before Christmas, so people were looking for gifty things. And but it's been more than ten years, well. right? And that's what I said. It's been more than ten years yeah, because. That's true. What happened was the fire department or the... They didn't like the hall. No, no, yeah. they didn't want people in the hallway. They felt that it fire was... Fire hazard. Uh, fire. Look at the deer. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it. Is there uh, only one? Uh, you know, I was looking for more because uh, I was going to say, hey, there's more. He's running. Yeah. He's probably like, oh, the sun's up. I got to go to my hiding spot. I hope so. He probably's going by the middle school. There's like a little wooded area yeah. there. Know where they, you know, it's it's like they do get run over here every once in a while. It's a shame. Well, because the deer. People don't expect deer here. I mean, it's like they don't. Ex they shouldn't. They should just expect people to be running it or walking in the street yeah, as much as deer. In this area, we're not like California. Kids. Everybody here wears black. Yeah. <laughs> we're all like, black is slimming because we're all fat. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Black is cool. Yeah. Black is slimming. Yes. Black makes me not see you in the dark. What they usually do is they wear black with those yellow uh, reflector things. <laughs> they're on bikes or they're working and then they're, they wear black with yellow reflectors. So. Well, they should This way they get to be seen. They're, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, hell yeah, they should be wearing anyway, something. Yeah, that, so I don't know. I put it on a lot of websites. I put it on a lot of Facebook pages, yeah. this thing. And then, you know, we had Daryl put it on... Uh, you guys Facebook yeah. pages. I, I promised them a card, so. Yeah. Next week. Maybe tomorrow. We'll yeah. Um, I, you know, it, it'll be fine. Whatever. It's it's just good to have them back and well, doing I'm, you something. You know, there's again. a lot of ven a lot of vendors signed up. A lot of vendors signed yep. up. Yeah. More than usual. More than usual. Yeah. Um, well, I think you know what? I think people need money. And, yeah, um, and not everybody wants to drive all the way to Columbus. Well, you know, Lamberville. Well, yeah, could, because this is not people like Collingswood. For a living. This yeah, is, this might be people that are just like they don't want their they stuff live outside. in a nearby town, and they just have some stuff from the house that they want to sell. And it's it's, it's going to be really hard to have yard sales when there's no yards left around mm. here. You know, look, it's well, all buildings and parking lots, and um, you know, that's what it is here. There's some grass. No, there's still some people can have yard sales. Yeah, I mean, but most can't, you know, not here. People in apartment buildings can't. So. No, I mean, go to more but, apartments. You know, I, think I hate we've apartment had sales. Some vendors that are going to be coming from TNAC and, you know. Yeah. So, um, there's more vendors at this one than usual. Yeah. But I, like I said, it'll be it's it's nice to, for them to be back in the game and for stuff going on. Now that the weather's better. I brought um, not a lot of stuff because I'm inside and I didn't want to take a lot of stuff. I'm not really into overdoing it. You know, We're not I, carrying them. Nah, yeah, it's just we have to find somebody to get to take all them CDs and DVDs. And just I'll just them I'll right. move them along. It doesn't matter. Yeah, two at a time, and you're getting old to be lifting all that stuff. Honestly, I, I'm not buying them so much. Mm. You know, and I'll, I'll I'll probably wind up like just donating them to the other CDs that we have. Um, just because I'm, I want to do different stuff too, you know. I want to mix it up a little like, more. I like music though, so it's no, like I like talking yeah. to people about so music. So you buy, you buy, you know, music that you like. Yeah. Or you buy ones that you know that you can resell because people yeah. might be looking for them. For well, the, the weird thing was I used to like to have a variety for people, so the I like to have. The problem is now we're stuck with all these CDs, and they're they're too heavy. They're, it's the like weird thing CD is, trays are heavy for you. The weird thing is that that they're believe it or not, like a lot of kids who have cars are buying CD players, so. But again, I'm not getting into CDs anymore, you know. I'll pick up some here or there, and that's about it. I bought like a... I don't know. Even this weekend, I bought like one CD. Pl plugging their phones in. They do. That's what our kid does. But they also, they also like CDs. I believe, believe me, I know. Because they have a car, and they just want to like, 
the you, Spotify, unless you pay, uh, doesn't let you uh, make a playlist really. And then no, and then the if other, you want to make a playlist, you have to pay. Right, and then um, and then also. If what you happens don't make is a playlist, they just give you random music yeah, yeah. that they think you'll like, and I, you know, it's like I want but to the other to a thing, particular album. That's just that so they go they like make me want to pay for it. Or Spotify doesn't tell you about music that not everybody knows. You know, it's always like Michael Jackson. It's always the Beatles. Talk it's always the Rolling Stones. Stones. Yeah, like uh, when uh, Ben, the kid that works uh, with us, right? I tell him, "Hey, have you ever heard of the the Smiths?" Or you ever heard of like um, I don't know Frank Black or or just like or Adam Ant or or, or just bands that not everybody knows you know like Flock of Seagulls or or um, just more obscure stuff from the 80s 90s you know uh, a lot of the hair bands even uh, and, and basically everybody just knows what they know you know so it's it's good a good way to expand your horizon honestly most of the new music I hear is from YouTube. Um, mostly because I don't really listen to radio more anymore either but hopefully it's, it'll be a good one you know uh, and I hope I'll get rid of some stuff hopefully we can get rid because we're always buying and we'll see at the end of the day right maybe there'll even be some stuff for us to buy there although I'm not too sure about that it's not a, it's more of an indoor flea market there's less stuff to choose there's not some more of the outdoorsy vendors that we like but all right, anyway we're, we're heading over there and uh, I'll just post what's going on as, as the day progresses. Okay, I'm at Bergenfield. I'm gonna show the room. Let's see. Um, a fair amount of entries here. I don't know, maybe I'll show the other one later. Not really my kind of stuff here. I'm probably gonna be the only one with my kind of stuff, which is fine. Uh, she has some interesting stuff there someone else that might have stuff that I want, but I don't know. It's just a lot of irregular, okay, no big deal stuff, but we will see what happens. Sometimes I find things here, sometimes I don't, but anyway, that's the space. All right, I think this is probably the only thing Marie's gonna get, or I'm gonna get, I'll go for a look. Um, but this is a good find, $25. Um, this is Burks. they're a very good company from Canada. And it's a tea strainer, so that might be it for today. Uh, I'll show my space in a bit. Probably gonna be a short video today because I don't think there's gonna be pickups from my side. We found the only thing that was probably worth buying for us in this place, even though there is some, some decent stuff here. So it goes like that. Oh, in case uh, you guys didn't know, these bats from Mexico, let me see. There for smacking the hell out of pinatas. Uh, Marie's uh, doing a little bit of jewelry today. Um, Hot Wheels. I brought some games from the store. Hello, Haven't been moving this. Yeah. There's uh, got a Wii. Picked that up yesterday. I forget I brought it. Uh, Skylander stuff. Haven't sold any. I'm putting out t-shirts. For some reason, they're not buying my t-shirts. Um, they don't like my prices on this. Well, the first person that did. And they're not crazy about the prices on this or this yet. They've asked, but I haven't sold any. Um, I am not the only one here with Pokemon cards, so I, I'm competing. I, somebody asked on the baseball cards, I'm telling people three, two for five, because there's a lot of cards in there, and I don't care. Um, went through here, had a bunch of empty games in that stack, got some cassettes. I uh, haven't sold any records, but I want to put the records so people can see I have records, so let me just do this and display a little bit better. There, now when somebody walks by, they can see I have records. All right, oh, and I, I believe it or not, I sold probably more CDs than anything else so far today. Oh, brought two skateboards and some dolls for the girls. That's it. Well, I actually did find something. This thing. What is it, you might ask? It's a Lucite Nutcracker. Um, I paid five. I, I think it's worth 30 to $40. I think it's pretty cool. Probably gonna go on eBay. That's it for me today. I don't think I'll find anything else.